Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are gonna be doing a Target haul. Um, so if you wanna know the goodies that I picked up, then keep on watching. I am super excited to show you guys everything that I got at Target because I feel like I got some good stuff. I, there are some things at Target that are like my holy grails. So if you wanna know what those things are, um, I can make a separate video of things that I feel you need that you can only get at Target. So you can go ahead and comment down below if you would like to see a video like that. So majority of the items, as you saw in the title, is more of self-care um, and just a lot of maintenance items that I got at Target um, yesterday. But I did find some other good deals as well on other things. So there is like a little bit of everything in here. So to start off, I did find some of these kitchen items at Target and guys, it was literally 50 cents an item. 50 cents, I think that's cheaper than the Dollar Tree. So I did pick up quite a few. Um, so these like bowls and plates, they did have them in different colors, but they gave me such like boho vibes and I just feel like that has just been my vibe lately. Um, so I did pick up two bowls and two plates and these were only 50 cents. So I wouldn't probably put any like spaghetti or any like anything that could possibly stain the bowls in here. Um, but this is really cute for like um, salads or just oatmeal, cereal, you know, fruit salad, whatever you, you know, whatever. Um, but yeah, these are super cute and they're not breakable. So Liana could carry this around because sometimes she doesn't want her baby stuff or her toddler bowls. She wants a big girl bowl um so this is always nice to have and then same with the plates the plates are plastic and this stuff is dishwasher safe and reheat only microwave safe but yeah so these were really really cute and again they were only 50 cents i also picked up these cups that were 50 cents a piece i couldn't choose like what color i wanted to get so they did have this like really cute like sheer pink and then they also had this really cute as well, sheer like baby pink. So it almost looks clear or white on camera, but in person, it's just a little bit lighter than this color here. So it's like a little baby pink. I always have these type of cups in my house for when guests come over um, and they're not breakable either. So sometimes Liana will grab our cup with our drink in it. And although we might have a spill, at least I don't have to worry about her like breaking glass. Um, as well as they do have pets, so sometimes they knock over our drinks while they're on like the end tables. Um, so yeah, so I always like to change these out because I feel like after a while you do have to change them out. Um, and then I did get it in like this sheer black, super cute. And then I did get it in like this cute green color as well. Is in their like kitchen home section. And again, only 50 cents. It's a steal. So one of the items that I picked up is this. It is from Honey Pot, and this is a feminine foaming wash, you know, for downstairs. Um, and it is, I did get the one in sensitive. Um, so they did have like a regular one and then they had a sensitive one. So I have eczema. I feel like my, from head to toe, I'm sensitive. Um, so I did get this one here. It is plant-based and there's no parabens. There's no deoxides. It's 100% natural pH of 3.5 to 4.5. Um, and this is contains colloidal silver. I don't know what that is. I will put it down be below here if I didn't like pronounce that right. It's sulfate free, cruelty free, um, and it says gynecologist love it. So I really don't always go by that because I know I've been learning lately that any like people can put dermatologist approved or gynecologist approved on almost anything and it really doesn't really mean much. And this is a black owned brand. And the only reason I mention that is because I know a lot of people are looking for new black owned brands to support them and support their business and just, you know, get behind them. Um, so yeah, so I, that's another great thing about this. So I really hope I love it because I would love to be a forever customer. Yeah, so this is from the Honey Pot Company. Um, and I always see it at Target and I have been seeing it a lot on TV. So I thought I'd give it a try. Right now I'm just using the Dove Bar Soap. Um, so I am super excited to give this a try. So if you guys have tried this already, let me know down below what you guys think of it. This one is in the scent Refresh. So I'm excited. 
made by humans with vaginas for humans with vaginas because it takes one to no one. <laughs> Sorry guys, I just had to say that. That is cute. So this is something that I have wanted to try for a while. It is from Function of Beauty. And guys, I hear about Function of Beauty all over YouTube. Almost every YouTuber I watch talk about Function of Beauty. Now, yes, majority of the time they are being sponsored, but even YouTubers that I really do trust and I trust their you know, suggestions and opinions and everything, um, they even talk about it. So I thought I'd give it a try. Now, I am so happy that Function of Beauty is, is now in Target before you could only buy the shampoo and conditioner online. Um, so you can customize it a little bit better online than in Target. In Target, you can pick which one you want. They do have different options. For example, this one's for straight hair. And then they do have like three other ones in Target for other types of hair. Plus you can buy these shots that you can put inside of your shampoo to customize it a little bit more to what you're looking for. Online, you can also do that. You can, I believe, add uh, up to three i think as well you can also customize the scent and the color of it um so since you are picking it up in target you can't really customize the color or the scent um but you can customize what goes in it by buying the extra shots which i will show you but this brand is ten dollars and under at target um so yes yeah, so i did get the shampoo and this has coconut water and then i did get the conditioner with avocado oil but it is the one that goes together so I am super excited to give that a try. It's another good clean brand, sulfate free, paraben free, naturally deprived, 92%, cruelty free, 100% vegan, made with recyclable plastic, and of course, 100% recyclable. Um, so yeah, so I am so excited to give that a try. So you can put up to three shots into your shampoo um, to depending on what your hair goals are. So I only picked two because the other two that I was looking at, they were all sold out. So I just picked up two to add in. This one is to strengthen the hair. Um, so it's just a little booster shot and I can open it up to show you guys like what it looks like. So the cool thing is that it does come with two shots. Um, let me just quickly show you. So. As you can see, it does come with two shots. So you do put one in your shampoo and you put one in your conditioner. So it's nice that you don't have to buy two separate ones, one for your shampoo and one for your conditioner. Um, one box does come with both of them already. And I believe it's like two or three dollars for a shot, well, for two shots. Um, so yeah, so you put one in your shampoo, one in your conditioner. Um, so this one is to strengthen and then this one is for shine. I am starting to run low on my sunscreen and I have been looking for a sunscreen that's not going to make me look super dewy or super shiny. I know that's in lately. A lot of people are talking about all these sunscreens that are adding glow to their skin and that's great when you don't wear makeup. But for me, I have to wait forever to put on my makeup after I apply my sunscreen, especially the one I have right now. The one I have right now is from Advino, um, and that one just makes you look so glowy and so dewy, which again is pretty for those days where I don't wear makeup, but I do wear makeup a lot, and I feel like my makeup just slips and slides around because of the sunscreen, so I have to like wait forever. So I'm hoping that this one is not like that. This one was only, I believe, was it $9.99 or $19.99? I think it was $19.99 if I'm not mistaken. Um, but this is from the brand Urban Skin, um, and this one is the Melanin Experts Complexion Pro Protection Moisturizer, and it is broad spectrum of sunscreen of SPF 30. So I feel like here lately, it's really hard to find a sunscreen that isn't a moisturizer anymore, especially for your face. Like I feel like it's always like moisturizer, um, but I don't mind that. This does have hyaluronic acid, squalene, and vitamin E. So it's supposed to be like really, really good for your skin. Um, it says this non-pore clogging SPF moisturizer tones and hydrates the complexion while providing advanced broad spectrum sun protection. Um, it says it slows the signs of free radical damage, making essential for daily prevention and correction of dark marks, uneven skin tone, and photo damage. Excellent for all skin types, goes on sheer to even the darkest of complexion. So that is really, really good. So I am super excited to try this. I only have a teeny tiny little bit left of my Advina one, and then I will be trying this one out. So I will keep you guys updated. 
I did pick up a e.l.f. brush. This is their pointed powder brush. And I have just been changing out my brushes and decluttering a lot of brushes that I don't want anymore. Um, but I've also been finding that certain ones that I am keeping that I thought I loved, I don't really love a whole lot. Um, so I am trying to find new brushes for my makeup and the type of makeup application that I like. Um, so I did go ahead and pick up this pointed powder brush. I got this one for more of a blush to use as a blush brush, just for those like lighter blush days. Um, so yeah, so I picked up this brush. This was very intriguing to me. So this is the Venus um, Razor and it has a irritation defense bar and it is for pubic hair and skin. Helps protect pubic skin. Um, you do get a razor and you get two of the actual like blade sets. Um, so this was like on TV one day and I was like, huh, I wonder if that really actually works. I mean, as women, aren't we always looking for that perfect razor? Um, so yeah, I thought I'd give it a try and we will see how it goes. I believe this was like 14 or $15 at Target, but again, you do get two blades along with it. So I guess that is a good deal. So I'm excited to try that out. As well as this was also, I believe, $14.99. It is their Daily Soothing Serum for pubic hair and skin as well. And it basically is supposed to, it says, use as a daily soothing moisturizer to help reduce the itch. Exfoliate to help reduce ingrown hairs. Um, so it's supposed to help with pH balance. Uh, there is no parabens, dyes, fragrances, or silicones in it. Um, my skin my way so yeah so i did get this um to use on those areas that itch so bad after shaving i do plan soon to do my at home laser treatments um i definitely want to invest in a laser hair removal soon um i believe it's like two or three hundred dollars but it's like i feel like everyone loves it and i definitely want to get it because i'm just tired of shaving and tired of waxing um, but this is what it looks like. So I'm excited to try this out. I believe it's like a pump and it does look like a, um, like a clear serum that you put on. So I hope this works because girl, these hairs, when they grow back, it is itchy. My favorite deodorant, which is native, and I feel like everyone talks about this deodorant, and there is a reason why. It is so freaking good. So I just finished up my other one. The other scent I had was the Coconut Vanilla, and that one smells so good. But do you know how nice it is to wear a natural deodorant but not feel itchy? I feel like any other deodorant that I would wear that was natural or not natural, I would just itch so bad under my armpits. It was horrible. This is the only deodorant that I've tried that does keep the odor away. I don't even have to reapply it. I feel like I've never gotten to the point where I would have to reapply it, although sometimes you might need to because it is a natural deodorant. Um, it's aluminum free, paraben free. So this one is in the scent Grapefruit and Pergamot. And I am so excited to try this one because I just want to try all the scents actually. Oops. Mm. That one smells good. This is like $11 and change, so almost $12. Um, so it can be a little pricey if you're com like used to like spending 99 cents on your like deodorant um, that you normally would get. So it is a little bit more pricier, but for me, it's totally worth it. I mean, it's in your armpit area. It's close to your lymph nodes. Um, and so I just rather play it safe and use a natural deodorant. Um, and yeah, so that is a repurchase of mine. The scent is new, but the actual deodorant is a repurchase and I 100% love it. Something that was a random pickup, but I kind of just saw it when I was looking at something else. So this was only a dollar um, and it is white chalk marker. So I do have, you can't really see it, but right next to these wall decorations, I have a like chalkboard calendar where like the lines of the calendar and the um, initials of each day is permanent, but then you can change like the month and the days and notes and stuff on there. So it does come with like these wooden pencils, but I always have to sharpen them and it's kind of annoying. So I did get these to use on that. So I don't know how they're gonna work. Hopefully that's better guys. I am so sorry. I literally just looked down and I saw that my mic was not plugged in. <sighs> Anyways, we're going to keep going. <laughs> I'm so sorry. So th this is a repurchase as well. This is the Holler and 
Holler and Glow um, sock mask. And guys, if you just don't have time to get a pedicure, you don't have the money to get a pedicure, whatever it may be, if you want new feet, get these, okay? You don't even need to use these like very often. It is like a chemical peel for your feet. Um, so what you do is you do, you put it on your feet like socks um, and then you leave it on for about 60 to 90 minutes. And then within the next like seven to 10 days, for the next seven to 10 days, I should say, your feet is gonna start peeling. Um, so it is, like I said, like a chemical peel for your feet. So your feet are gonna start peeling, the dry skin, the, dry, the skin that's not even dry, everything, your whole foot is gonna start peeling. Um, and then I would take like a pedicure like stone and just kind of scrub away at the dead skin if you want it to like, you know, if you wanna speed up the process. Um, but these things are freaking amazing and I think they're like $2.99, so way cheaper than a pedicure. Um, so if you guys have not checked this out, I definitely would do so. I am getting extremely low on my um, body scrub couldn't even think of it and i'm staring right at it um <laughs> but yeah i am getting so low on my body scrub right now i'm using the one from true and love or something like that i think it's a walmart brand um and i freaking love that one so much um but i did want to try the one from dove so this is their exfoliating body polish and this one is in this and um this one is the pomegranate seeds and shea butter um and it's like a moderate i guess they have like different intensities to like how much you want to exfoliate. So I guess if you have like a tan um, that you want to exfoliate off or whatever, you might want to get one that's a little bit more, has a little bit more scrubbies in it. Um, I don't have any self tanner on to exfoliate off. So I just got the moderate one. Um, and yeah, so I don't know what it smells like yet. Ooh, this smells so good. It smells like summer and it looks like a freaking smoothie. Like I am so excited to use this. I cannot wait. My daughter's falling asleep and she has the bobo in her mouth. So if you hear a that's what it is. All right, so this is another item that I've been wanting to try for a while. And guys, when I tell you that I could not ever find this product, it was always sold out. I'm like, what the heck? This is from Health and Beauty and it's their Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay, and it is the world's most powerful facial deep pore cleansing. Um, so this is a huge freaking tub. I feel like I'm never gonna like run out of this. I don't know what the secret is, but everyone loves this so much. And apparently, I keep looking over at my daughter, making sure she's okay. Um, but yeah, I everyone loves this so much. And so I'm so excited to try this because guys, when I tell you, I have so much congestion in my pores on my nose. I have been actually like taking out the blackheads and it hurts so much. I'm sure if you go somewhere to get it professionally done, it's gonna hurt just as much as well. Um, but yeah, so if this can like do it for me in a less aggressive way um, than me harming myself, I'm all for it. And of course, body wash. Um, so this is a new body wash. I have not tried this one out yet, but this one is from Olay. It's their cleansing and nourishing with hyaluronic acid B3 body wash. This smells so good and it literally looks like lotion. Like it looks so like thick and yummy and creamy. I am so excited to try this. I hope my skin doesn't like freak out because I do have eczema and I try usually not to use fragrance stuff, but I really miss using fragrance body wash. So I'm hoping because it's so moisturizing that it's not going to like really irritate me. It says it's supposed to support the skin's natural pH, replenish the skin's moisture barrier, um, and it says formulated by Olay Skin Experts. So we will see how this goes, but I like how it comes with the pump. I've been really into body washes that have a pump. So yeah, I really wasn't focused on clothing this time around. I will go ahead and probably do a separate shopping trip and focus on um, clothing especially for the spring and summer because I feel like my closet needs a whole new like redo so when I switch out my winter and fall clothes and put up my spring and summer I have this feeling that I'm gonna be getting rid of a lot of clothing um, and I'm gonna need some new pieces so I did see this though and this was so hard to um, pass up on so I don't know if you guys can tell or see on camera but it's like a crop top sort of thing 
um, it looks huge on camera but it's just like a little crop top and this was only five dollars they did have it in different colors this one is from the brand wild fable which i am familiarized with that brand um, but i never got like anything from their clothing line so it feels so soft and like pretty thick but not too thick where it would be uncomfortable um, so yeah, so I'm not totally into crops yet just because I'm still working on my, you know, post mom bod. Um, but I feel like by summer I should be very close to where I want to be. And so I'm excited. So I did go ahead and get that. Of course we had to do a little shopping for Liana. So this was only, I think, I think it was like $7.99 or $8.99 and you get three onesies and these were so cute for the summertime. I got them in the size 18 months. So she is 15 months right now. Um, so, and 12 months is starting to get like a little bit too small for her. So I think these were just super cute. So of course I had to like pick something up for a baby girl. She has a lot of stuff already. So that girl spoiled. This is an exciting purchase as well. This is from A New Day. And guys, if you have not purchased any of their jewelry, you like what are you waiting for? Like you need to go to Target and you need to check out this brand. So this is my favorite jewelry brand from Target and actually from like out of all the stores combined, Walmart, Target, wherever. I love this brand. Um, this, my ears are super sensitive. If it's not 14 karat gold, my ears are like, mm-mm-mm, bye. Um, so this is nickel free um, and usually even when I get like hyperallergenic earrings and it's nickel free Especially from like Walmart or something my ears will still itch by the end of the day Like when I first put them in they're fine But by the end of the day they are itching and screaming saying get these earrings out of my ears um, So these earrings don't do that to me I can actually wear these two days straight before my ears start to get like a little itchy and then I'm like, okay, I need a break. Um, but if I try to put like super fake junky earrings in my ear, my ears will start itching within the first like 30 minutes of the earring. And then before you know it, it's like super red and like just rashy and starts to get crusty. It's gross. Okay. So these do not do that to me. I have quite a few earrings from them. Um, I do have like these really cute, like thick, chunky, like little hoops and stuff like this brand has such adorable jewelry so you guys have to try this out okay this one is $7.99 and you do get three hoops and i just love how like dainty they are like they're like super thin hoops so i did need new hoops um but i think that because they're so thin they just make they just make it look so like they're just so chic looking you know like i don't know they do come in like i think it's like more of a rose gold a silver and then your like yellow gold um but yeah those were so cute and i had to pick them up i wanted a set like this but i wasn't like sure if i wanted to commit to getting anything expensive so we'll see how often i wear this and then if i really do like the look on me and i like how it wears then i might get something a little bit more pricier but this is a short necklace and it comes with like two so you get the shorter one and then the longer one. This was $14.99 um, and again from A New Day. And yeah, so I had to pick this up because it was cute and I do need some more like jewelry pieces in my life. So I didn't get too crazy with the makeup because I really am trying not to buy too, too much makeup trying really hard. Okay, I'm trying. I know it gets so frustrating when you see like people do these do these declutters and your project panning and then they keep just buying more and more makeup but i swear it's an addiction like it's a shopping problem we have shopping problems okay so i did get this blush from milani and it is in the shade 01 dose pink dose pink i think it is one of their baked powder blushes um kind of just like the luminoso one is it's kind of like in their same it's in that same line but I just thought this color would be so cute for like spring and summer. I don't know, something about it just really made me want to get it. So I did. I've been into berry tones a lot lately and especially for spring and summer, I'm so excited for those colors. Um, usually I'm all about my nudes or I'm all about my pinks, but here lately I've been into the berries. I don't know why. Um, this one is in the shade More Blush. I do have two other um, ultimate lipsticks from Maybelline. Um, I believe one is called, I don't even know. One's more of a nude and the other one's like a red. Um, but then I saw this shade and again, it's just one of those more like mauve berry. 
It's kind of hard to tell on camera. It's coming off a little bit different. In person, it's just a little bit more of like a cute berry um, like lipstick. And I'm just so excited. And then last but not least for makeup, I did want to pick up this mascara. It is the Revlon So Fierce Big Bad Lash Mascara. And I wasn't going to get this mascara. I just wasn't, you know, I was just like, eh, you know, it's whatever. Like, I'm not super excited about it. I think it has a, it looks like it has like a double um, brush, like maybe on each side of it, it might be because it are showing two different brushes. I don't know if you can see that. Like this one's more thinner and that one's more thicker. And then if you turn it around, it says this one is the big side and then they have the bad side. Um, so the big side, the bad side. So I don't know. But the reason I got this mascara is because people were comparing it to the Monsieur Big um, mascara from Lancome. Let me guys, guys, the Monsieur Big mascara is my favorite mascara high end. Like my favorite, 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 favorite. I have not tried a mascara that got me to really fall in love with it the way I fell in love with my Monsieur Big. Monsieur Big? I don't know. I'm not French. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, so I am super excited to try it and I hope that it is a really good dupe. And then last but not least, guys, because I am back to working out again, I did get this sauna FX um, and it is basically a neoprene sauna vest. I got mine in a size medium. I hope it fits me. I feel like it should, but basically it's supposed to help slim, trim, and tone, um, lose excess water weight, increase core body temperature, and get the most out of your workout. So I am super excited. I usually get the ones that kind of just, you know, wrap around your stomach, but I thought this one was kind of cool because sometimes it does roll down or it bunches up. So to get it as a vest, and then I'm like, why not, you know, lose a little water weight in the boobs too. I am one that I do like smaller boobs versus bigger boobs. I know everyone's just like, you know, like everyone loves the big boobs. I am one that likes the smaller boobs. So I'm okay if I lose a little bit more weight in my boobs, which usually I do. It has that like waist trainer smell to it. Oh yeah. So I really thought it was gonna have that like rubber, you know, in the inside, um, like some waist trainers do, but it doesn't. It's the same material all around, which is fine. Um, the one I have right now is more of like just a normal cloth. So I feel like it wasn't really doing the, the job, but I am super excited to try this out. It kind of looks like something you would wear like to go scuba diving, but like something you would wear like underneath or over top of something, I don't know, but. I'm excited to try it on and see if it actually fits me. Hopefully it does. I do have my receipt, but I have to exchange it. Um, but yeah, that is everything, guys. Um, if you guys tried any of this stuff, let me know what you guys think of it. Leave comments down below. If there is something at Target that I am missing out on and you think I should try, go ahead and let me know as well. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell. That way you will be notified every single time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Hope you have a great day. Until next time, bye.